Hi, my friends. Look, Evacuator is taking the green Peugeot to the garage. I think you remember that it hit the other car on the crossroad. This car cannot go itself because the crash was so hard. That's why Evacuator transfers this car on its platform. Here is the car service. The Evacuator is going inside to unload the Peugeot. We are going to see what parts of the car were damaged and which should be changed. So, the special hoist takes the car down on the ground. Then the hoist goes back to the platform. Thank you, Evacuator, for your help. Now, we should lift the Peugeot a bit with a special hoist in the garage. We do it to see the damaged parts more clearly. We have all the necessary tools to repair the car, so let's get started. Let's see what must be fixed. We have a broken bumper, dented hood, crumpled wheel, and broken side view mirror on the driver's side. So, we have to change all of these parts. Here is a new hood and bumper, but they are a different color, gray, but we need green. So take green paint and color the parts by special paint sprayer. Ooh! First we do it with the bumper and then the hood. Well done! The paint dries very fast, just a couple of minutes, that's it! Now we are going to put all the parts back into the car. Also, we'll put on a new wheel and change the side view mirror. Okay, now we can put the hoist down. Well done! Look at this beautiful car now. Looks like a new one. Hooray! We did everything so fast. Now the green Peugeot can go itself. But we all have to be very careful on the road and pay attention to the traffic light, as we don't want to have a car accident. Okay, my dear friends, today we not just visited the garage, but also fixed the car successfully. We even painted the hood and bumper. We were like real mechanics. It was so interesting, wasn't it? We are going to have more car adventures. See you soon. Bye-bye. Here's the winter everybody was waiting for with real snow and frost. It has been snowing very quietly for the whole night and day. All houses and streets are covered with snow. All of the city is under the white blanket. Cheerful snowflakes are flying and remind us that Christmas and New Year's are coming very soon. They are the most favorite of children's holidays. It means we will have many guests at our homes and even more presents under the Christmas tree. I'm sure that you're waiting for your presents too, aren't you? Have you decorated your Christmas tree yet? Handy Andy has just decided to go to the city to buy a Christmas tree and decorations for it. He is going to tell you about it right now. Hello, my friends. I want to congratulate you on the first snow. Winter came, and I switched my car into the red SUV. It will be easier to drive on the snowy roads. But today, even I will not be able to get into the city. There is so much snow. However, I know what to do. I called the bulldozer. It will come and clean the road from the snow, so I and other drivers will be able to get to the city with no problems. While we're waiting for it, this car goes very slow, because at the same time it cleans the road from the snow. Let us see what it looks like and what it can do. So. Here is the bulldozer, one type of the snowblower vehicles. It has tracks instead of wheels. They help him to drive better, even on really snowy roads. There's a big shovel in front of this car. It can even turn to the sides and helps to clear the road better. This way, the snow will be pushed to the roadside. Wow! Look, my friends, how big and heavy it is. I think it can easily clean the road even from the very, very big hills of snow. Look! Bulldozer is in a hurry to help us! Wow! 
I'm surprised how good and straight it goes on the snow. And look at the shovel pushing the snow away from the road. It's great. We can see clean asphalt behind the bulldozer. Hooray! Now I can get to the city with no problem. And I hope there are already cleared roads. Let's get our car started and give the engine some time to warm up. It's cold outside, by the way. Now let's go, my friends. I have to buy my Christmas tree and some decorations for it, remember? Because Christmas is coming soon. Oops. The roads in the city are already covered with snow. But our helper bulldozer is going right in front of us and clearing the road. Thank you, bulldozer, very much for your help. I'm going to look for a Christmas tree. See you soon, my friends. Bye. Hello, my friends. I'm coming home to decorate my Christmas tree. Christmas and New Year's are coming soon. I have to decorate my house on time. I'm going to put this beautiful tree in the best place and light the decorations. If Santa sees it, he will not just pass by. I'm sure he will leave presents under such a beautiful Christmas tree. Oh, who's there near the road, standing and waving? Maybe he needs help. I'm going to stop for him. Oh my gosh. Look who's here. We are so lucky. This is Santa Claus. Hooray! And there are his reindeer and sleigh. But why did he stop? And why is this Christmas tree here? Let's ask him. Oh, my friends. Santa really has a problem here. It's good that I was passing by and saw him. Santa found the most beautiful and biggest Christmas tree in the forest. He wanted to take it to the city center by his sleigh. This beauty could be a really nice Christmas decoration for our city center. But it turned around because Santa's sleigh is too small for this huge tree. What can I do? I think it's time to call Evacuator with Platform. We used this truck to take the green Peugeot to the garage. Do you remember? This truck has the platform, which can transfer big and heavy things. Here is our helper. Oh no! But we cannot upload the tree to the platform without help. The tree is unbelievably heavy. So we need the crane. This truck can lift very heavy things. Look! Hooray! The crane is in a hurry to help us. Look! The hoist goes down, grabs the tree, and loads it onto the platform. Very slow and carefully, so it doesn't break the branches on the tree. Okay, well done! The tree is on the platform. Now it can go to the city center with no problem. Hooray! The evacuator goes to the city very slow and carefully. Now the Christmas tree is where it's supposed to be. We need the crane again to lift the tree from the platform. The crane grabs the tree very carefully and puts it right in the center of the city. Well done! Now the tree can be decorated. Wow! Our tree is so beautiful. Just look at the shining balls and decoration lights. Look! How many presents are there under the tree? Hooray! Christmas came to our city! Okay, I helped Santa Claus thanks to Evacuator and Crane. We couldn't cope without them and we wouldn't have such a beautiful Christmas tree in the center. 
Now it's time for me to go home and decorate my tree. I wish you happy holidays, my friends. It's here. The snow covered all the streets and houses. It's even a bit frosty. There is a New Year mood in the air. The right time to take the skis and sleds out of the city and spend a good time on the hills. I think holidays are the best times to relax and do sports. Andy Andy has also decided to join some of the holiday makers. Hello, my friends. Look at this beautiful weather outside. I really like to ski in winter. I've already started and warmed up my car, cleaned the road near my house from the snow, and even took my skis. Here they are. Wee hoo! I'm waiting for my friends to come. They are on their way now. We are going to the hills to go skiing for a bit. Here they are, my friends, in a yellow Lamborghini. And they have their skis on the trunk. I'm putting my skis there and ready to go. I'm so happy the winter holidays are here. We have a good opportunity to relax, roll in the snow, and just breathe cold, fresh air. Cool. I cannot wait to go skiing. We are going slowly, although the bulldozer has cleaned the roads, but it keeps snowing. It means that the asphalt is wet and the car can skid on the road. And if you cannot react fast to control your car, the crash into a snowdrift will be unavoidable. Smash! Oh no! Look! It's snowing harder. The snow is so thick now that it's difficult to see the road. So we have to go slower and be more careful. We do not need to be in a hoop. Oops! My friend's car is going under the ice and going under the water very fast. Oh no, I don't know what to do. A bulldozer can't help us. It will not have enough time to get here. We are calling the rescue helicopter. Hello? Hello? Is this the rescue team? Come here fast. The car is falling through the ice. It's the road out of the city on the way to the ski slope. Please, faster! There are all the necessary things for the fast rescue on board of the helicopter. First, there's a specially trained team and medicines needed for the first aid. Second, it is equipped with a special powerful hoist that can pull my friend's car out of the water. There are fans on top of the helicopter to make it go. In addition, this model has a tail rotor, which spins around during the flight. Look, there's a takeoff area on the roof of the building, and I see that the rescue helicopter is taking off right now. It's flying above the city, but it's snowing really hard and almost impossible to see. That is why the helicopter is flying at a minimum speed. We didn't go too far out of the city, so I hope the helicopter will come in a few minutes. I can hear the engine. Hooray! Here it is, right above us. Here, we're here. Help us. The car is going to sink in a few minutes. The helicopter is at a steady position above us and its hoist is going down. Go slow. Slow. Got it. Now the helicopter is pulling the car carefully out of the ice. Oh my goodness. Good luck. My friends are safe. Thanks to the rescue team, they came just in time and did everything to help us. Hooray! My friend, who is driving the yellow Lamborghini, is very cold. It's because the car was half under the water. So the rescue team is going to take him to the hospital in their helicopter. I will call evacuator to take the Lamborghini to the garage in the city. Thank goodness everything ended up happily. We'll go skiing next time. The most important thing is that everyone is safe. Goodbye, my friends. See you soon. Hello, everyone. It's me again, Handy Andy. The weather is great, so I've decided to go skating. Oh, my car is running out of gasoline very fast. Look at the arrow on the fuel gauge. It's lower than the red line. It means we only have a little bit of gasoline left in the tank. What should I do? The nearest gas station is not so close. Hmm. It's much easier for the trolley bus. It doesn't need gasoline. It uses electricity. 
So, what are we going to do? I'll phone my friend and ask him to tow my car to the nearest gas station. Hi, my friend. I need your help. I ran out of gasoline. Could you tow me to the gas station near here, please? The road sign shows that in 700 meters there'll be a gas station, so it's not that far. Are you coming soon? I'm really waiting for you. Thanks in advance. Real friends are always ready to help. It doesn't matter where they are. I'm lucky that my friend lives not that far from here, and he can come fast. Hooray! I can hear his motor. I'm sure it's him. A Lamborghini is a racing car, for sure. Hooray! My friend is here! To tow my car, we need a special tow rope. One end we should attach to the front of my car, and the other end to the Lamborghini. Now I'm on a tow, and my friend's car is a tow truck. It's good that the gas station is not so far. To be on a tow is not fun. Here we go! Gas station! Thanks, my dear friend. Now we have to unhook the tow rope and my friend can go. I'm going to fill in the fuel tank and continue my trip. So, we should open the tank and attach the filling valve. It's also called the fuel gun. The fuel gauge needle, or arrow, shows how the tank is filled. Can you hear the sound? The gasoline is coming under the pressure from the station tank to the tank in the car. Great! The tank is full now. Let's put the fuel gun back and close the tank. We are ready to go now. Wow, wow! Look at the gasoline tanker coming into the station. The gasoline tanker is a truck that transfers fuel to the gas stations. It has a very big tank for fuel. Have you ever thought how the fuel goes to the station and where it is stored? The gasoline tanker takes the fuel to the station and then the fuel goes to the underground metal tanks through special pipes and it's stored there. These metal tanks are connected to the station tanks, which we use to fuel our cars. So, my tank is full. Let's continue our trip. Today, we also had an adventure. But it's good that we saw gasoline tanks and learned about fuel at the gas stations. It was very interesting. Hooray! I will keep going, my friends. Goodbye. Beep.